Welcome to the second video of section 3.2 on solving linear systems. In this video, we define the augmented and coefficient matrices of linear systems. Given a system of linear equations, which I've written here in exactly the same format as we've seen in previous videos, the matrix A aug is called the augmented matrix. of the linear system. It's important that we can see the relationship between the original linear system and its augmented matrix and vice versa. I first want to look at the variables in the linear system. Notice that the variables are x1 through xn, and in every single equation, they appear in exactly the same order. That's going to be really important when we're solving linear systems. Looking at the first equation, I can see that it has coefficients a11, a12, through a1n and constant b1. I'm going to take those coefficients and constant, and I'm going to make that row 1 of my augmented matrix. So the first coefficient, a11, is in the first column and first row of the augmented matrix. The coefficient, a12, is in the first row and second column of the augmented matrix. The coefficient, a1n, is in the first row and the nth column of the augmented matrix. I also need b1 which I put on the right-hand side of a solid line to remind myself which numbers in a matrix are coefficients and which numbers in a matrix are constants. We're going to do the same thing with the second equation. The first coefficient is a21. That goes in the second row, first column. The second coefficient is a22. That goes in the second row, second column, all the way through the nth coefficient, a2n, which goes in the second row, nth column. Finally, I need to put b2 to the right-hand side of the solid line. We do this for every single equation in our linear system. The last equation has coefficients am1, am2, through amn, which appear here, am1, am2, through amn. Finally, we have the coefficient, the constant, bm, which we put on the right-hand side. There's a few things to notice. The first is that the linear system has m equations. These m equations give us m rows of the augmented matrix. The other thing is that the linear system has n variables, x1 through xn. Each of the variables gets its own column in the augmented matrix. So for example, this first column here are all the coefficients of the variable x1. The second column are all the coefficients of the variable x2, all the way through the nth coefficient which are all coefficients of the variable xn. So when we have n variables, we're going to have one column for each of the variables plus an extra column for the constants, giving us n plus 1 columns. We can also define the coefficient matrix of the linear system. So that's here. The matrix A is called the coefficient matrix. Of a linear system. Notice that if I were just to take the portion of the augmented matrix that doesn't include the constants, that's exactly the matrix that's the coefficient matrix. So the coefficient matrix is always going to contain all the coefficients of the linear equations in your linear system. Let's look at an example. Consider the linear system 2x minus 3y plus 4z is equal to 1, x minus y minus z is equal to minus 1, and minus x plus 2y minus z is equal to minus 2. We're going to write down both the coefficient matrix and the augmented matrix. To start with the coefficient matrix, all that we have to do is read the coefficients of each of the equations. Starting with equation 1, we position in row 1 the coefficients 2, minus 3, and 4. Moving on to the second equation, we have coefficients 1, minus 1, and minus 1. Finally, in the third row, in the third equation, the coefficients are minus 1, 2, and minus 1. We do exactly the same thing for the augmented matrix, except this time 
we can sort of see all the work we've already done. In particular, we already know all the coefficients of the equations, so we can just paste that in. We can add a dotted line to distinguish between the coefficients and the constants, and then I just have to put in each of the constants. The first constant is 1. The second constant is minus 1. And finally, the third constant is minus 2. Another thing that we should be able to do is that we should be able to write down a linear system that corresponds to an augmented matrix. So here, if you're given the augmented matrix, the first thing we need to do is we need to identify the variables. So I see that there's four columns, which means I need four variables. I could choose letters like x, y, z, and w to represent them, or I could use subscripts. I'll pick x1, x2, x3, and x4. Reading off row 1, I can see that the coefficient of x1 is 3, and the coefficient of x2 is 2. The coefficient of x3 is 0, so you could put it there, but I'm going to delete it in just a second. Finally, the coefficient of x4 is 1, so I'll just write x4, and we set that equal to 5. Like I said, usually when we have a 0 coefficient, we'll just delete that term altogether. From row 2, I have 2x1 plus x2 minus x3 plus pi x4 is equal to 4. We'll often use integer or fraction coefficients, but really you could have any number be a coefficient. Finally, in row 3, we have 0x1, so I won't write it, 0x2, I also won't write that, plus 4x3 plus twice x4 is equal to 1. 